Hi folks, it's E-Chip with Contentment Channel. Hope you're doing well. Well, I was looking back and I noticed that the last time that an update video was done for Contentment was in February of 2021. So, uh, here we are, February 2022. And I'm sorry, we should have gotten one to you sooner. But uh, 2021 was an interesting year. There were some things we got done, but mostly not. That doesn't mean nothing got done. Uh, as you know, we got the screen porch built. We got some work done on Dumpy. We got some work done on Dyna that was totally fruitless. It was a lot of work and totally fruitless. So we get to do it all over again. And uh, <clears throat> what else did we do? I can't remember at the moment. But, oh, uh, we acquired the container. Uh, to help us with our storage needs for tools and uh, building materials and things like that. Boy, what an asset that is. Um, and, uh, and so there were tough times during 2021 also. And 2021 and 2020 were tough years for a lot of people. I know. Uh, including us here. Because we came down with the blue booger, as Nona Grace calls it. Um, but Nona, I gotta tell you, uh, I gotta tell you, Mine were anything but blue. I'll just say that. Um, uh, Robert got it. Oh, probably. We came down with it at the same time. And as I recall, it was like the end of October, very beginning of November 2021. And Robert was over it within a week, I think, and feeling okay. I, on the other hand, uh, was sick in bed and even had to go to the hospital once um, for three weeks. I didn't go to the hospital for three weeks, but I was sick for three weeks. So sick that I was in bed just about the whole time. Uh, I don't remember much. I really don't. That's how bad it was. I remember having a lot of pain behind my eyes, my head, uh, my joints, uh, things like that. Really ached. Um, I, I remember uh, doing some coughing, but I, more than that, I remember having a, a hard time breathing and having to go to the emergency room for that. I was on oxygen. I also had an oxygen generator here uh, at the Shouse, and I also had, um, uh, Robert got me little cans of uh, oxygen that hikers use, you know, that you can breathe, 95% oxygen or something like that. And then also, uh, I had a nebulizer here because I used to suffer really greatly from asthma when we lived where we lived before I came here. Uh, all those things helped me a lot. I remember using them a time or two. <laughs> I probably used them more than that, but I don't remember it. Um, I remember talking to people a couple of times. Um, other than that, I don't remember much. I really don't. That's how sick I was. Um, had a hard time breathing. I thought I might have to go to the hospital and stay there, but thankfully I didn't. Um, but I, I remember coming to sometime around Thanksgiving and uh, feeling well enough to get up and leave the house. So uh, that was my encounter with the blue booger. But Hey, enough of that for the moment. Let's talk about what we have planned in 2022 because I'm really optimistic about what we can get done. I have two big goals this year uh, for contentment in 2022. One is to finally, hopefully, once and for all, get Dinah to a place where she's dependable, where we can use her because there are so many things I have to do with Dinah. Um, and that leads me to big goal number two, which is use Dinah to dig out the basement for our house and um, pour that basement. Get, the, get it and the foundation ready to build on uh, beginning in the spring of 2023. Uh, thankfully, it, at least it appears, still on track for building the house in 2023, which was our, which was the goal to begin with. So, um, so that's good. 
I hope, I think. Um, and then we use Dyna for so many other things. You know, every we have several pieces of equipment here on the property that are just too heavy to lift. And so Dyna comes in handy for that. We can hook a chain to the bucket and just lift it up and move it. And um, so there are so many things I got to get moved around here that require Dyna. Um, so that leads back to the first goal, get Dyna going. And then there are a number of smaller projects I want to get done. Before April 1st, 2022, uh, I want to build the um, little greenhouse here on the front of the shouse that I meant to last year and didn't get around to doing. It, it'll be a simple greenhouse. It'll just be a simple, you know, half round greenhouse that's built up it's almost like a lean to against the front of the shouse because it faces south. And uh, it'll be made out of cattle panel. And I probably won't go into great detail about how I built it because there are a billion uh, videos on YouTube about how to build a cattle panel greenhouse. So I'll probably just show a video of doing it and having it done. <laughs> Um, that will extend growing season here by two months, a year, on, uh, a month on each end. Um, and that means that instead of having to wait till Mother's Day before we can put anything in the ground, we can, we can start on Earth Day, which is about a month earlier, middle of April. So, um, that's good. And then, uh, you know, obviously get another garden planted out here with things that don't require the greenhouse. Root vegetables do really well out here in this climate. So potatoes, carrots, radishes, you know, rutabagas, and then brassicas do very well as well. Um, you know, cauliflower, broccoli, stuff like that. So looking forward to that. Uh, lettuce will also grow out here pretty well. Um, and they don't, it doesn't require a greenhouse. So I'll, I'll reserve the greenhouse for things that, you know, need heat. Things like tomatoes, peppers, uh, stuff like that, maybe herbs. We'll see. This is really the first year of real experimentation with it. As you know, if you watch our channel, you know we built a cold frame and we grew a few things in it. It did okay, but um, this will be a chance to really you know test things out and see how well a greenhouse will do. One other thing I want to do is uh, reinstall the wind turbine. Now, those of you who have been following us know that we purchased a 48 volt wind turbine with seven blades on it. And uh, if you've been following us, you know that it wasn't up any longer than say a week or 10 days before high winds came along and literally blew that wind turbine off the top of its mast. It lifted that 60 pound wind turbine up off of the top of the mast and caused damage. Uh, it started to arc <clears throat> it created all kinds of mayhem. And so we'll try it again. Uh, I'll set it up in a different place on a pole and see how it goes. Um, we'll just see. I mean, maybe maybe the problem was that we had too much, uh, too many blades on it. Seven blades. You know, the more blades you have in a wind turbine, the more readily it will spin in a light wind. But... The more blades you have on a wind turbine in a high wind uh, can cause problems. So maybe that's the issue and we just need to work it out. But I also am thinking about relocating our power here for the shouse. We use Buzz, our mobile solar generator that Robert and I built, to power everything here at Contentment. It powers everything. And uh, it's been so dependable and so good to us. Um, but... He's sort of in the way, and things are getting crowded over here where he's at. He's over here at the front part of the shouse near the, near the uh, screen porch. But if we want to use the welder or something like that, we have to do it all right here. And the area is getting a little cramped. And we're starting to, you know, chop firewood and stuff like that over there. Not the best place, in my opinion. So I'm thinking maybe of rolling Buzz's trailer back to the back side of the shouse and then running a line over here to the load center. Um, because that will allow me to use the welder and, you know, we, we power a lot of equipment back here. And so having buzz in proximity to that, I think would be better. Uh, we'll just see. I'll think about it.
but that's that's one thing I'm thinking about. Um, another thing that I need to do is set up the sawmill. We bought a sawmill uh, early last year, but we've yet to set it up. We did some logging, as some of you know, in the mountains, and we collected some logs while they're here, and they're waiting for the sawmill. So uh, I need to you know, put some runners out there, set the sawmill on it, but I cannot do that if Dinah's not running because the head of that sawmill is so heavy, I can't lift it. So uh, I need Dinah to move that equipment. Unless I want to take the whole thing apart, move it over there and put it back together. I don't really want to do that. And then uh, I also want to finish uh, doing the little bit of you know, sort of patch up work I've been doing on Dumpy, uh, the Ford F600 grain truck uh, with its dump bed that we have here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to sell Dumpy because it's just costing too much in gas to keep. But uh, before I do that, there are some parts I bought for it that I want to put on there and, you know, get the, like the horn needs to be fixed and stuff like that. So I want to make sure all that's good and and uh, operating before I try to sell it. If I do that, I think we can get double what we paid for Dumpy a couple of years ago. So that'd be good. But, uh, so, and, and honestly, that's enough here for contentment. That's just about what, you know, what a person could handle. Let's talk for a minute about something more serious. You'll notice that Robber is not in this video. And uh, Robber is gone. And she's no longer here at Contentment. Um, I know that Robber, you know, for many of you, made this channel, made Contentment. I know that. I know she did. She brought so much life and fun into our videos and honestly she brought so much life and fun into things here uh, for us both and she's missed she really is I know that you will miss her too because I know that many if not most of you tuned in because you wanted to see Robert you know I'm the straight guy I'm the guy who you know just is all business and does things. Robber was the fun part. You know, she was the one who brought, you know, fun and perspective and joy um, to the videos. And frankly, she brought fun and joy to contentment, period. Um, and I miss her, and I know you do. I don't want to get into reasons as to why she's gone. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but, you know, we, we remain friends. And um, so, you know, going forward, you are not going to see Robert in videos. I mean, she may pop up one day or something like that. Uh, she'll come over to help or something like that. But, but really, actually, Robert's gone. So... Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that, um, but there is one thing I do want to ask, and that is, I, I want to know your thoughts on something. Seeing as how Robert, you know, really made contentment, should I go on with videos? Should I go on documenting, you know, what's happening here at contentment? in the comments or any other ideas you have, any other thoughts you have. Um, I won't answer any questions about, you know, about Robert or us or what happened or anything like that. I just won't. Um, we uh, I want to keep these things kind of private. You don't even know our names. We've always gone by E. Chip and Robert. But so, you know, in, in that way, we are kind of private people. But the question is, do you want us to continue? Uh, do you want contentment to continue? Um, you know, showing showing what's happening out here. Or do you think it's an appropriate time to end? So, I'll leave this video with that. 
please, um, you know, leave a comment down below. I know that Robber will see them. Of course, she still has access to everything. She, she sees and knows what's going on here. So, so if you have any, uh, you know, good words for Robber or something like that, you want to leave by all means, leave them in the content, uh, in the comments below, and she will see them. That's all I have to say for this uh, update time. I wish you all well in 2022. Um, plan to go forward and do what needs to be done here and uh, build contentment. And, you know, on that subject, I'm reminded of, what is it, what the Apostle Paul said in Philippians, you know, I've learned in whatever state I am in to be content. And I hope you will too. And, you know, contentment for me um, was never just a name or a property or a YouTube channel. Um, it's something I always um, hope to have. And I hope that for you too. So anyway, uh, please leave your comment below and thank you so much for watching.